What is happening, YouTube? What is happening? It is Craig Harris, the Messiah of Xbox, here back with another podcast. Got some information here. Got that information, you know. Looks like my friend Lou Wappa, my inside source for that PS5. Looked like he was he he came he had some pretty sturdy information. As more information came out this afternoon about it. Mm. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. So it is 5 p.m. here on the East Coast. I believe it is 2 p.m. on the left coast or the west coast. It is 4 p.m. Central Time. It's all my people out there rolling the dice in Vegas. It is 3 p.m. Mountain Time. So sip up. Go ahead and go ahead and get yourself a cold one. Kick back with Panther Power. Wakanda forever, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it going. So to all the people on the East Coast, the West Coast, up north, up, down south, down and man, we got subs in, uh, like I said, in Greenland, Scandinavia, all across the world, Europe, my goodness gracious, Italy, got a sub in Italy now. It is truly an international love zone here, ladies and gentlemen. The Middle East, the top east, the bottom east. Everywhere around the world, the Aborigines that refer to D as Java Java the Hod the Hod. And we got the people, regular folks in Australia that migrated down there. Shout out to all those migrants down there in Australia. The people in New Guinea, what is happening, New Zealand, New York, New England, you know, New Cape Town, what is happening? Let me take a swig of the gospel here. Mm. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Got Huge Xbox news, just gigantic. Got huge news on something called Vanquish 2. We got tears being cried in the Xbox community about something called State of Decay Part 2 because it may or may not be 50 bucks or $20, whatever. You know, and what else? We got some PlayStation news. They're rolling, as we all know. I'll, I'll start with the PlayStation news. So I believe either later today or tomorrow, Monster Hunter is going to release the Aloy mission or something like that or where you all can have her again i'm just i'm waiting there's just i've got so much going on i'm just waiting to freaking buy her outfit you know and get it going like that but i may still hook it up on monster hunter shout out to everybody there shout out to the people in the chat you know yeah let me come on over there and see what's happening see who's there make sure we got the minimum yeah we got up to 13 that's good that's good so mm. Well, there's always news for Xbox, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on, Dark Side Habit? But what is going on, people? Tell you what, go tell six or seven more of your friends to come sub here because, you know, we got almost 600 subs here. The Church of the Messiah is expanding. Man, oh, man, I'm going to have to do another Porchlight podcast about Black Panther because the black community, the way they acting about it. You got people online that don't even know the source material trying to make commentary. Pathetic. All right, so here we go. All right, anyway, but we'll start with the, uh, like I said, the PlayStation news. And it looks like old Aloy, old Monster Hunter is really happening. You've got uh, some other missions. Ryu, I think, you know, he's got some missions on there. I mean, again, I didn't know they did all these crossovers, but these developers kind of went out and made friends with everybody. So, um, and on Xbox, you'll see some stuff too. You know, you may see uh, some Final Fantasy characters on Xbox. So I was at the wait and see. Well, yeah, they they hurting over there on that Xbox. So we're gonna go ahead and get the. Get, get that PlayStation news on out of the way. Also, if you have not played Horizon Zero Dawn, I don't know why you wouldn't have, but if you haven't, um, it is on sale right now on PSN. There's a big PSN sale, and it's like 40 to 50% off. And also, Hellblade. If you haven't played Hellblade and you're thinking about it and you got headsets, let me make this clear, you got the headsets, uh, get that Hellblade. It's like 30 or 40% off as well. It's another strong buy. Again, they, they had some good games last year. Uh, Hellblade was real good. P5, I've I heard nothing but good things about it. Near Automata is a good game if you haven't played that yet. 
my goodness gracious, of course, Horizon Zero Dawn. That was my favorite game. And again, my surprise game was Hellblade. I didn't think I would enjoy Hellblade, but I had a good time. So, you know, there ain't nothing on the PS Store for you right now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I just got done playing a little bit. I've got Elite Dangerous going right now. I'm landed, so I'm in a safe spot doing some deliveries and stuff like that. They've changed some stuff on Elite Dangerous, too. So if you haven't noticed, you can take missions, and when you deliver stuff, you can actually choose to rather enhance your reputation or just, you know, because that's what I've been doing. Because I haven't played Elite Dangerous for a couple weeks. So because I mean, I start, I jump back on, um, <laughs> I jump back on, um, what was the name of Wolfenstein, too, and had a blast on Wolfenstein, too. So good times, by golly, good times. What's going on out there, Chris Cobra Elite? You're always here, my brother. Uh, let's see here. And as you know, tomorrow, tomorrow I will be changing the um, the uh, subs or the subs. My goodness gracious, I will be changing the mods again because it's it be time. I do it once a month. You know, I slap it up, flip it, and rub it down. And we will do that again tomorrow. And again, nobody's done nothing wrong. Nobody's done anything stupid. It's just, you know, I always uh, switch it up because there's old subs and there's new subs. So and you always want everybody to feel like they can participate, things like that. So shout out to everybody who did the uh, modding for this month. But, you know, we're going to change it up again uh, tomorrow, hopefully. So what's going on there, Quantez, the gamer? What's happening? Disinfect the enemy. What's happening? So. Always a pleasure having everybody here. Just want to MK, what's happening? Reunion K, how you doing, brother? Been a while. Reunion K over there in Germany with his wiener schnitzel and schnauzer. What's happening? So, you know, PS5 news that my good friend and deep, deep spy, Luwafa, it's pretty much confirmed some of the PS5 stuff. You know, what's going on, Jordan Dizzle? Always a pleasure, young man. How you doing, sir? How you doing? So, you know, so <laughs> your left striker just went viral. Oh, my goodness. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. All righty. Well, yeah, we'll get into it here. So, yeah, uh, Games with Gold on the Xbox this month was garbage. Garbage. I mean, it's just not very good this month. Both not very good, but that is some Xbox news. And everybody says, well, Xbox gives you free games. They don't give you free games. You have to be subscribed to Games with Gold to get the games. So, uh, but we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and see if I can share share the L screeno. And we'll do the pull up Games with Gold here and see what we got. And I know what you're thinking. Craig, why don't you have this queued up already? Well, because I always do things the hard way. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and um, pull this up. So we'll go games with go March. There we go, March 2018. So let's check out what the Xbox has. Again, they revealed this 13 hours ago. Well, let's see here. Um, eh, Express UK, yeah, that's got too many ads on it. Don't know anything about the sun. So we'll go to xbox.com because they're fairly accurate. And uh, we will share this screen with you guys. And um, I mean, I've never heard of these games, but you know, it is what it is. This is part of the news cycle and people can't sit up there and say, cause I'm the Messiah of Xbox and I got to keep the truth coming to you guys. And uh, so we'll share this screen real fast here and hopefully you all can see this. So this is, uh, let's see here. It says with $69 plus in value, 3,400 in game score. So <laughs> 69, <laughs> but all right. So these are the new game. This is from somebody named Mike Nelson. He's the Xbox Wire editor. And so this came out on the 20th, but this is now being confirmed. So you get, we're getting Trials of Blood Dragon. It's free. Okay, start March 1st. Uh, March 16th through April 15th, they got super hot. Not mild hot, not a little bit hot, but super hot. Uh, you got Quantum Condrum, uh, Condundrum, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then you got something called Brave. So, and something over here is called Shadow. I don't know what that is. It's like Shadow Warrior or something like that. And then there may be something else getting unveiled right here. But as of right now, again, uh, your kids may like Brave. 
Let's just be honest with you. Your kids may like brave. I ain't never heard of super hot. So that sounds like wing sauce that I would use on my wings. But nevertheless, these are games with gold in March. And again, I, I laugh at people because they say they're free. And it's like, well, if they were free, you could just go and download them. You would need games with gold. But that's not why we're here, folks. Like I said, this is Xbox News. I'm keeping it 100%. I think these games are trash. Got it. But nevertheless, that's what I think. And what I think is just what I think, okay? I speak for myself. I don't speak for nobody else, except for the church of the holy wolf ass. Yours truly is the Messiah. So, uh, but with that said, the, the, I, the church of the holy wolf ass takes the stance of these games being garbage, garbage, all right? But if you like them, that's all that counts. I'm not gonna knock you if you're playing them. Because you're playing them and you're having a good time. I wouldn't play these games with your Xbox. But, you know, nevertheless, it is what it is. Uh, so, big, oh, yeah. Yeah, let me start out. Let me give a shout out here. A big shout out to Ryan the Professional. Check out that Real Gamers uh, podcast. Uh, yesterday, it was myself. Uh, Ash and Lucas swung by there. Uh, we had uh, Mubaku himself. I think oh, I was all day there. No, he wasn't there. Uh, but Carlos Fernandez, he came on yesterday. But it was with uh, J-Dub City. It was with Ryan the Professional. And uh, check that out. That was a good gaming podcast. We had fun with it. And uh, it was informative. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot of fanboying and stuff like that because that's not you know where that podcast is really wanting to go. I enjoy being part of it. If somebody had told me, six months ago or a year ago that somebody would have found me on YouTube and asked me to be part of a launch podcast, I would have said, you're crazy. I'm serious. So uh, a big shout out to Ryan, the professional for uh, wanting my opinion on things and uh, hoping that I can keep bringing uh, good positive stuff to the podcast. I really appreciate that. And it's really humbling when somebody listens to your material, listens to what you're bringing on social media, because that's what this is, and they value your opinion enough to want to do something with you or add you, want you to be part of something that they're doing. And I just want Ryan, I want Ryan to know and everybody on that podcast to know, I will bring it every week that I can. So I, I really like it. And, and um, I like where he wants to take it. And I'm just glad I can be part of it. If you didn't listen to it, Go check my man out. Uh, go check out that podcast. It's episode one. And just check it out. Give us some feedback. You know, we can't we can't improve it if you all don't talk to us about it. You know, so, you know, hit him up on Twitter, Ryan the Professional. He is on Twitter. Hit up J-Dub. Hit me up. Anything we can improve on, stuff like that. That's what we're wanting feedback on that. And uh, I just want you all to know we are listening to you guys. We listen to you guys. We read the comments. We, I personally, I hated the fact when I would listen to content creators, leave a comment, and then they don't say anything. And they act like, well, it's too much work to go into the comment section, read the comments, and interact with people. That if, if you got people saying that, if you got people saying, well, I'm too busy, you don't need to be listening to their content. They need to, at the minimum, if you're willing, to, again, to sit down and listen whether it's at the gym, whether that's downtown, I mean, whether, where you're, wherever you're at, where they ought to be willing, the content creator should be willing at the bare minimum, read your comment, okay? At the bare minimum, you know, and either give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. And if we're not doing, or if we're not doing that as content creators or people bringing you all information, then you all don't need to be listening to us, period, because you can go somewhere else. That, but that's why I always try to interact with people in the chat. I always try to interact with people in the comment section because it is important for you all to leave comments. I mean, I don't care if your comment says that the podcast was garbage, garbage. Okay, that's fine. You know, but, but needless to say, I will read that though. So I don't want you to think, well, I didn't see it. So if you say it's all good, I'm not going to say, oh, well, you know, I, I know there's things that need to be improved. So that's what I'm looking to do. So, uh, but again, go check out that podcast. I made that way more too much about me. Uh, check that podcast out. It was a, it's a good panel. Hopefully uh, we can keep it going, but that will be Monday nights at eight o'clock. And um, just check that podcast out. So uh, if you can, but here are your games with gold. And again, they're not free because you have to have gold, Xbox gold, whatever it's called. So, but this is one of the rewards if you have gold. So, uh, but you get these games and stuff like that. 
and here's the confirmation. So, uh, but super hot again. I think it's got it, but it this is a, an award winning FPS original conceived at a seven day FPS game jam. So apparently they just people just threw this together and it won an award. So uh, big shout out to the folks that did it. It's not my type of game. I think this lineup is is got it. Got it. All right. But again, that's just that's me. That's what I think. OK. And, you know, that, you know, I I only speak for myself. The main thing is, is if you're playing it. And you like it. That's all that matters. That's what you all really got to get through your heads. If you like it. Great. You know, if you like it, fantastic. So and uh, and so do not let what any what we're saying. Take you away from what you're playing. OK, one of my favorite games back in the day was called Zaxxon. All right. It was called Zaxxon. There were other people who thought that game was garbage. OK, it was an arcade game. That game came to ColecoVision and you, you boy, you thought you just died. I thought, oh, my God, it can't get no better than this. What's happening, Thomas? Hand? So. Um, so, yeah. And. Uh, mm. Ah. Shout out to your Savage Yuga. So it's good in VR. Yeah, that's that's fine. And if it's a VR game, but it's on Xbox, so they don't have VR, right? So, and again, I'm not going to knock it, though. So it's good on PSVR. Okay, that's cool. So um, so we'll know more about Plus games tomorrow. Probably. Probably, yeah. Again, Plus is having a huge sale. So um, if you haven't played those games in that sale, you may want to check them out. Shout out to the people watching, by the way. Uh, so we'll go ahead and move on. That was Games of Gold on Xbox. So let me get to State of Decay 2 because we talked about a little bit. We talked about this game a little bit yesterday and how some people have it for 29 or 34 uh, pounds in the UK. And um, some some people, some <laughs> other places have has it higher. Some has it. Some have it lower than that. I truly believe the game overseas, okay, the, let me make this clear, the game overseas, all right, is going to be cheaper. The reason why is because of Game Pass, okay? The reason why is because of Game Pass, okay? So, and um, that Game Pass is really hurting Xbox physically overseas more than anybody else i mean it's just physical those are the people that have stopped selling xboxes they're not ordering um they're not reordering xboxes you know what i'm saying so and um it's it, it game pass is going to work you know and i'll get more into game pass a little later but this is why i think state of decay is only it is what it is now i personally i still plan on buying it you know and uh, but if it's on Game Pass, and it, I'll get it on Game Pass. Uh, if it's for rent at at Redbox, I'll get it at Redbox. It'd be cheaper to get it at Redbox and keep it for three days. Well, I guess no, because with Game Pass, you get it for the whole month. But you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't think right. So, mm. well, Chris Culver, why is your interest in it dwindling? You know, so it's still state of decay, and. Um, so uh, it's, you know, and, you know, I had I heard somebody online yesterday say that if Xbox reduces the price of the game, they're going to feel some kind of way. Now, now, first things first, I didn't know grown ass men said I'm going to feel some kind of way because can somebody explain to me what way should you feel? I mean, if they reduce the price. I mean, what are you equating the the cost of the game to the quality? Is that what you're doing? You know, because I wouldn't do that. What's going on, Lionel Bogan? I, I see that Tony Stark himself is there. Oh, is it T'Challa? Could Lionel Bogan be T'Challa? Because T'Challa's got trillions of dollars, you know. So what is happening? You know, what is happening? What's going on, Cycle? So, hmm. So, you know, I don't understand why, why this guy said I'm going to feel some kind of way. And he literally said he's been I can't say he said he was damage controlling from Microsoft, but I don't know why people there's still a group of people out there who think that the Xbox is trying to compete with the PlayStation. And it's not. OK, it, it truly is not. I'm not trolling at this point. I mean, guys, you got to let it go. Like, like the song says, let it go. Let it go. You got to let it go. It's over. OK, it is fourth and 10 and you're facing a full court press. OK, 
So, you know, the hockey sticks have been taken away. The lights are on. It's time for you to go into the house. I mean, whatever, what, whatever you need to do to get it through your head, then it's over. So, you know, well, Chris, so you're saying you think if it's cheap, it's not worth it. Okay, it's going to be $10 on Game Pass. It don't get no cheaper than that unless somebody gives it to you. So does that equate to anything? Do you see what I'm saying? That's that's why it's a bad comparison, Chris. That's my opinion. No, I get what you're saying, though. But, you know, sometimes the cheapest stuff is the best stuff. Sometimes, okay? But trust me, I'm somebody who's who makes it out here based on quality, not quantity. So I know what to look for. So as far as state of decay, people saying that it's going to be bad. You tell me as a consumer, how is it bad if you get it at a cheaper price? As a consumer, how is that bad? But but that's what this person was saying. So if we're going to start equating what is good to what it what is good to price with games, that's bad. That's not a good thing because there's been some PlayStation games that cost full price that were garbage. Garbage. You know, so and there's been some Xbox games that have been straight trash, garbage, costing full price. You know, I'm about to start playing Quantum Break, and I'm really afraid that I'm gonna be throwing the joystick because the game is so bad. But I mean, there you know what I'm saying. There's some games that you know you may feel it isn't it isn't the big deal. So mm. Ah, yeah. Now, see, to me, I'm zombied out. I, I've been playing zombie games since I guess Resident Evil. So we got—I played Resident Evil one and two. Then I played that other zombie game when you were in the mall. Then I played some other zombie game when you were on an island. Then I played some other zombie game called Dying Light. Then I played some other zombie game where you were on another island. I mean, it's just golly, you know. So what's up, Jay Wags? And you got these all these zombie games coming out. If you think it's it's going to be garbage compared to the other zombie games, all right, that's a fair. I, I personally think that's a fair statement, but I think we're making a mistake if we start if we're going to start comparing what games cost to their quality. I'm serious. One of the best games I played this generation was XCOM Two. That's one of the best games I played. That game when I bought it, it was only thirty nine ninety nine. So and that was brand new. I got it for $39.99 at Target, better known as this gangster name Target. I call it Target. It's I I love that game. You know, and I only paid $39.99, so I feel like I got a good deal. You know, so uh condom broke. Oh no, I've had that happen before. <laughs> yeah, well, you're right, Savage. And it's not dropped officially in the US, it's dropped overseas, but those other overseas Xbox uh, Game Pass, those companies, and you know, they're really, they really don't like Game Pass overseas. So, you know, yeah, Dead Island, Dying Light. Yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, to me, it's a, a zombie game is a zombie game. You know, you, you're trying to survive the zombies. Now, I did like the one when I was in the mall because I could use like guitar. I was throwing guitars and crates and all kind of stuff at those zombies. So that was actually a different type. I played too many zombie games. That's, you need to understand PlayStation, the original PlayStation, Resident Evil, Resident Evil 2 made its bones on that. That's what sold that PlayStation. Resident Evil. And I remember I had that PlayStation. I had like a 19 inch TV in my bedroom. It was a color TV, but I was playing Resident Evil. You know, so, <laughs> but that's the original zombie game. Everything is going to be compared back to that zombie game. And to me, so far, the best zombie game has been Resident Evil 2. That's how everybody's been, um, that's how everybody compares everything to Resident Evil 2. Part 2, it's always Part 2. It's never Resident Evil 3 or Resident Evil Nemesis, which I thought was garbage. Got it. OK, but I'm just saying, you know, as far as so I don't know what State of Decay is about. I just know that it's going to be me running around killing zombies. That's why I'm lukewarm on Days Gone. I'm like, oh, man, another zombie game. You know, it's not that the game won't be fun. And I like the fact that the zombies move more like they did in World War Z, because that's my favorite zombie movie. But with that said, I just think we got to hold off. And I can't believe a grown ass man was saying he's going to feel a certain type of way. I didn't even know men talk like that. So I'm literally going to have to have another podcast on giving the Xbox community 
man lessons on what it's like to be men because they don't need to be feeling no type of way on a video game. You know, it's going to be 10 bucks on Game Pass if you don't, if you just want to try it for a month. And if you think the game is garbage, garbage, then you can play, um, what's the other one? Um, that uh, they were really bragging about Laura Croft, the uh, Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider. If you got an X and you can play that, if you don't like State of Decay, and you can play that, that's fine too. Because the, the Tomb Raider on that 16 blocks, y'all got to understand, you can smell the sweat of Laura Croft. You can feel her scars healing and smell the blood coming off of her. So, you know, <laughs> you know, so that's that's fine. You know, so and that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Resident Evil. I now see the Grady. No, I did not like Nemesis, but that's fine. I didn't like it as much as Resident Evil Two, but Resident Evil Two to me is the quintessential best zombie game I play. That's my opinion. Then I followed up by that other one. I was at the mall because that's what I'm talking about. So because I mean, because you could go to like music store. Man, I was throwing guitars and and this. You know. <laughs> You don't want to smell lower. You don't want to smell like lower crawl. Well, I'm just saying that that's six teeth flops. You can't beat that for for ten bucks. I mean, you know. So, uh, but I know what you're gonna say because I've said it. The game is three years old, and you're absolutely right. The game is three years old, but that's what Xbox is doing, guys. That's what I'm moving the game past now. That's what Xbox is doing is that they are transitioning. I left the article. It's on um. I think it's on WCC Tech. Yeah, WW, WCCFTech.com, uh, Xbox Game Pass. It is a transition for them going to a physical realm to the metaphysical realm of digital sales. I mean, that's what they're doing, okay? That's what they're going to do. So what's up, Trey BK? Yeah, smell the sweat. So, um, so, and a lot of guys are upset about Xbox doing that. I get that. Xbox is not the console that they thought it was going to be because Microsoft whole don't care about it. That's why these guys make videos on how much money Xbox is making because it's like they're it's like they're jumping up and down saying, see guys, see this this is how much Xbox is making for you. Don't get rid of it. Don't sell it. Look at all this money is making for you. That's what they're doing. Okay. And this is all coming from their subconscious. So you know the um the medulla um 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 glottal. You know, it's their subconscious part of their brain is making them do this because they they keep thinking they're going to wake up one day and, and it's going to be on TV that Microsoft is selling Xbox. And yeah, if they get a good enough offer, something like an Amazon or something like that, they'll sell it. And, you know, they're not stupid. So, hmm. Ah, so, you know, so it's it, it's and it also what Game Pass, which is going to be successful. I keep telling people this. It will be successful. People are like, well, you know, are they going to put first run games on there? Now, I don't think they'll get to that point, on, you know, for at least six months. I think they'll have a six month moratorium on that. And because they, because there's people who want collectors of things, you know, that are, you know, if you like State of Decay, if, they have, if there's a collector's edition of State of Decay, are you not going to buy that? You know, if they come out, I'll tell you this right now, they keep on announcing all these games. They need to announce. Mass Effect being uh friggin' getting the 4K treatment and all that DLC is free. Man, you all won't see me. I will shut down my channel. Like, where Craig go? Craig's playing Mass Effect. You know, so yeah, I'm playing that in 4K and get to see Miranda and Ashley and all those folks on the Normandy one more time in 4K. Man, you can't beat that. You know, you can't beat that. But that's me. That's what I want. Yeah, Cole Veronica ends right. All right, all right. Cole Veronica, I will give you that. And it was Cole Veronica and Cole Veronica X, right? So I played Cole Veronica X because I think at that point I had switched to Xbox. But um, uh, Fable, you've played but never finished. I've played all three Fables. So, but a uh, 4K sex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I mean, but um, I give you Cole Veronica. Yeah, that. And that's what I was still heavily invested in Resident Evil. But when it got to Resident Evil 4, I didn't play that. I did play Resident Evil 5. I beat Resident Evil 5, which I thoroughly enjoy. But a lot of people hated on that game. You know, so, uh, 
But, uh, well, all right, you're bringing up The Last of Us. That's, again, when I first saw The Last of Us, and I, I, a friend of mine, shout out to Bill Logan, he was playing The Last of Us. I'm like, oh, man, another zombie game. Oh, what's the big friggin' deal? You know, because I was zombie gamed out, me personally. So Mass Effect Andromeda needs remaster treatment and story expansions. Well, it's already got a re it's already got the treatment on the pro. It's already 4K on the pro. They can't do no more. But uh, story expansions, yeah, they're not doing that. So, uh, and it would have been cool to see Habitat Seven. That's the first place we went to uh, to go back to that. We never got to go back to that. And yeah, to hear what happened. But um, we're gonna have to. There's a novel I think coming out in April about that. And if you want to know what happened, eh, you know that's we're gonna have to buy that. So, yeah. But there you go. Uh, there you go. Code 17 to set it. Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, full remaster. I don't care if it's got to be 1080p, you know, but, you know, remaster that uh, and give me all that DLC and let me let my TV do that 4K upscale. Man, oh, man, I'd be in heaven. So but that's me, you know, <laughs> the last of us is 4K native on the pro. Yeah, I, I mean, that's that's fine. You're right, Spartan guy. Yeah, it's. Here's the thing with the whole 4K thing. You had a group of people, again, mostly in the Xbox community, saying that the Pro could not do 4K native. And obviously it does. So we got to move on from that. I mean, if you're a PlayStation guy, you got direct evidence it does. So, yep, it's time to move it on. Let's just keep it moving. You know, you don't have to argue with these guys because that's what they want. They want you to argue with them and be argumentative with them and it's just like look it does 4k native but granted it's not it wasn't designed to wasn't designed to do that but it can you know i mean and again you brought up the last of us that's a first party game so again i expect a first party studio to get the most squeeze out of that orange you know what i'm saying that's what i expect all right so uh but getting back on game pass yeah the reason why game pass i believe will be successful is because it you do need live, I believe, with it. So they were really smart. And if you have it for two months, you pay 40 bucks. So at that point, you might as well just go ahead and buy the damn game. That's why I, people say, you know, I might as well just buy Sea of Thieves. So <laughs> mm. Fight Night Champion, that's, yeah, that's an EA game. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. So, But, um, yeah, you guys have got to uh, stop with the argument, arguing because the Xbox is done. I mean, you know, they're switching to digital. That's why I think Game Pass will work. And I do agree with Crap Gamer when he said all this stuff, um, it, all this stuff people are championing now is the stuff you were screaming about when the system launched. He's right about that. That's true. That is true. Okay, you, you're never going to have ownership if you use Game Pass, okay? You can still go buy the game, but you won't have ownership through Game Pass. I mean, I don't, now maybe they say, Maybe they give you something like, you know, we'll give you 10 bucks off, you know, which is fine, too. So, you know, what does somebody say here about Mass Effect? Yeah, I mean, I know it's 1800p on the Pro. So, for, yeah, play 4K on the Pro for the last of us, hard to play with 30 FPS now. The, uh, yeah, well, again, I, I, I don't mind 30 FPS on a console. It's a console. If I want 60, I'll PC. You guys should be looking at PC. So, you know, you want to replace your S with an X. Um, it's not worth it right now, but that's my opinion. It's not my money. So it ain't my money. And if you get a good deal on an X, you know, uh, so uh, go ahead and fire it up. So, <laughs> hmm. uh, well, come on, Grady. It's not a catfish. The Xbox isn't bad. It's just. It's not what a lot of these fanboys hyped it up to be, but Microsoft, if you listen to them, they never said a lot of this stuff these fanboys were, were claiming. Microsoft never said that, okay? They never did. The fanboys said that, okay? A uh, shout out to Beastfire Tim Dog. What did he say a couple weeks ago when he was on uh, the Gamer Couch? He said a lot of these games are dynamic 4K. He would have thought they would have been native, and that surprised him. Again, so it's, that's reality. That's what he said. So, and I knew the games are going to be mostly dynamic 4K. I knew that, you know, because they can't get a native resolution on the Xbox. They just can't do it. You know, not not with these big open world games. Now, I mean, this doesn't mean that the dynamic resolution is bad. I'm not knocking it. 
you know, so, hmm, excuse me. I'm not knocking dynamic 4K or sparse rendered 4K and stuff like that. But my whole point was that about what well, my point was is that when the PlayStation Pro was doing dynamic 4K, it was called fake 4K. And that's 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 been the problem from the jump has been that, you know, oh, we don't have access to it. So we're going to make light of it. So, you know, you know, damn, Lionel Buzzer talking about put 100 on it. That sounds like some T'Challa shit right there. He's on that T'Challa shit. So. But uh, so that's why I think Gaming Pass will Game Pass will be successful because it's targeting casual gamers, mom and dad. Like, hey, look, you can go rent this for four bu for ten bucks. So the highest resolution on console is four K. I'm not lying about that. So yeah, I'm not lying. So yeah, on console is four K. But if you want 4K, if you want it that bad, you should build a. You got a PC, Spartan guy. Good grief, you know. So, <laughs> so yeah, Wakanda forever. You got that right. So, you know. But um, but yeah, that's why I think that'd be fine. And yeah, you got a lot of people upset about it and calling Microsoft out and why are they doing this. They're doing it to stay relevant. Okay, Sony kicked them in the balls when this thing, this generation started. So the console war is over. And I blame at this point, I blame the PlayStation community for keeping the shit going because it's like, damn, they didn't sell like 77, whatever, million consoles. They got to let it go. Let it go. Shit's over. You know, so. <laughs> ah, but, um. Yeah, you're messing with Yoshida up in there, that Lionel Bucket. I think that could be T'Challa, though. <laughs> so, so Xbox guy is saying that the, they don't want crossplay. Again, Xbox guy, this has been asked and answered. Sony wanted crossplay last generation. Microsoft said no, because that, you know, and Sony does not have to do it because they are the leading platform. All right, I've said this to you before. Imagine being a football coach. You're winning a game 52 to nothing. I said it's a cycle game. I said you're winning a game 52 to nothing. You got seven minutes left in the fourth quarter, and you're running the ball for five yards a pop, and then your offensive coordinator says, oh, you know what? I think we ought to start throwing the ball. And so I, and cycle gamer said that's crazy. You're already winning. Yeah, you don't have to change anything. Okay, you want to play PlayStation games or Xbox guy, you gotta go buy a PlayStation. You wanna buy play Nintendo games, gotta play, gotta buy a Nintendo, you know. <laughs> They're not attacking you, okay? I'm watching the chat. So you know, so yeah, you know, which call is not in here. Like that girl, like Ash and Lucas said yesterday, you and that other guy, I can't think of it was, you all been arguing for like a year online over bullshit. I mean, it's bullshit. So there you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go to stop arguing. So why Halo on no on PC yet? Why is Halo no on PC yet? Again, because Halo, I my opinion here, Lionel, Halo is the flagship game of that console. So it'll be a while before Halo goes to a PC. So. Hmm. <laughs> So there's no reason. And again, remember when when Xbox launched, they put an emphasis on JRPGs and and I always say single player games, but you know exclusive games. There were games like Splinter Cell and Knights of the Old Republic, Halo. Those games were epic. You could not get games like that on the PlayStation, or I guess it was a Dreamcast, maybe out at the same time. So um, it's you know that's. That's what these Xbox guys don't understand now. They just, they don't recognize that, you know? So, <laughs> you know, so, uh, you know, it's, um, <laughs> you know, they don't, they don't realize that. So when I see guys make mocking, I see Xbox guys now champion the fact that uh, State of the K2 may be a double a game it's like okay these are the same cats that made fun of games like no man's sky they said that you know well if it's not a triple a game it doesn't count 
And, and the problem is, is that you got a lot of people doing podcasts with them who, again, they don't know that these cats have said this. So it's like, no, you're rolling around with a fraud. You're on that podcast. He's this, he's a that, you know? And it's like, yeah, your problem is that, you know, you're, you're rolling. I can't say you're rolling. You're having a podcast with a group of people that have said a bunch of stupid stuff. Let me give a big shout out to uh, Zaire, uh, Next Gen 720. Okay, when the Nintendo Switch was announced and the specs came out, Next Gen was saying stuff like Nintendo doesn't get it. It's not powerful. It's, it's not going to be successful. He did a video either yesterday or day before yesterday saying that, oh, well, I was wrong about the Switch. Yeah, you were wrong. I mean, that's the end of the discussion. You were wrong. Let's just move on, okay? So, <laughs> you know, you, you were wrong. Let's move on. The Switch is fine. The Switch is fine. And that's what I was saying on the podcast last night. You know, people were talking about, well, look at the graphics with this game. Look at the graphics with that game. I'm like, look, if you got the Switch and you're wanting a graphics powerhouse, you got the wrong console for that, son. You know, that's not why you bought the Switch. You know, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, Z's cool. I mean, and he admitted he was wrong about the switch. All right. So now everybody who was wrong about the switch can come out and admit it. Hey, I was wrong about it. I mean, because me personally, what did I say about it? I said, well, I wouldn't early adopt it because I don't early adopt any electronic device. But uh, so I did early adopt the PlayStation, but that's got a track record. So, uh, you know, I waited 90 days on Xbox One. Um, you know, shout out to J Dub for the Xbox One X. You know, so, um, so, but I would not have early adopted that because I wait for fail rates to come out. So, which I think are very low. But if you really look at since the Xbox X has come out, guys, let's look. Let's look at reality here. Um, the Xbox X has been out. It's been in three NPDs. It's one zero. Sony has beaten it two out of the three MPDs, and the Switch has beaten it on all the MPDs, hasn't it? The Switch is, well, except for the November MPD. Sony won the first MPD. Switch won, uh, so Sony won the November MPD. Switch won December MPD. Am I saying that right? And then Switch won again in January. So, I mean, Xbox did not win at all. Okay, so, and that's a brand new console. It's more powerful. So let's let's break that down. There was a group of people online who said, well, the only reason why the PlayStation outsold the Xbox is because of the power and it looked better and the games were, you know, so that's why they bought it. Okay, now the Xbox is out. It's got more power, does a little bit more. Let's just admit it does a little bit more. And um, now that it's doing a little bit more, guess what? The Xbox is still losing. So, I mean, obviously these cats were wrong. So, if the if you can't do some critical thinking, if you're a PlayStation guy, it's like, man, look, these cats are wrong and, and keep it moving. I'm going to go play my games. I'm going to go play my Spider-Man. I'm going to go play my Detroit Become Human and whatever. Hellblade, uh, you know, whatever you want to play. You know, it's they can't they can't compete with that shit. You know, so since they can't compete with it, what are they doing? Yeah, what are they doing? They're mocking it. You know, that's why old Spider-Man got downgraded. And look, if Spider-Man was coming to the X, they'd be jerking off. They'd probably be jerking each other off. You know, so it's it's just, you know, if Days Gone were coming to the X, they'd be all about it. So, <laughs> you know, mm, hold on. Mm. Ah, yeah. So, so, yeah, so I don't understand why. I understand why, but I, I'm just trying to get you all to have some critical thinking at this point now, because you all should be able to just call these guys clowns and move on. Now, some of them are hiding it behind, well, I want to be entertained. Well, I want to be entertained. And it's just like, OK, well, if you got to lie to be entertaining, then you don't need you need to shut up. You know, so y'all get to all your questions here shortly. So but um. But yeah, so let's move into, uh, but I do think Game Pass is a good idea. I'm excited about Game Pass. And uh, the only people who are sore about it are just, they're stupid. So just stupid about it. So, um, so all right, so Vanquish 2. My big breaking news on Vanquish 2 is that it's going to be a 6K game. 
and it's going to downsample to 4K on that X. Okay, so you're going to be able to uh, rubbing off. Okay, so if you're going to, so if you want to see the true power of the X, again, you're going to have a 6K buffer, and it's going to super sample down to 4K on the X. All right, and it's going to be a 4K native game, and it's going to be beautiful. Yeah, ah, vanquished. Yeah, so this is big news because this is going to show the power of the X. You know, so, well, I mean, again, as far as the November results of MPD, I took an L on that one. I took an L. It was the first person that came out and said, I got to take an L was me. You know, I'm glad I didn't bet Porter Rock. So, <laughs> you know, so because I would have lost the bet too. And Porter Rock, that man took money. He won what, like $80? So, you know, and Jabba Jabba the Hod the Hod still hasn't paid him yet. So, you know, it's uh, allegedly, allegedly. You know, so um, so it's um, it's unfortunate, but um, I, yeah, because I thought new hardware combined with so with the software that they were going to have for it would sell. You know, it would sell. So and it didn't. It's not all right. It's not that it didn't sell. It didn't sell as well as the PlayStation did. So it's just it's not. It, it didn't sell bad. It but it the X has not outsold the S yet. I don't think in any MPD. I still think the S sells more than the X. But because if it if it didn't, Microsoft would be tweeting about it. Aaron Greenberg or Mike Yabar would be like, oh look at that. Uh. Mm. So you know, so you don't care what the resolution is. I understand Corey Massey, but this is this is for the people, because there's still people in the Xbox community that still think resolution is a big deal. I mean again, I, I don't disagree with you. I don't disagree. But it is what it is. So, <laughs> you know, but, it, you know, it is what it is. So I don't uh, get it um, why, but it's a 6K game, I guess, similar to something called Titanfall 2. Even though, But think about it. Even though Titanfall 2 is a 6K game being downsampled for the Xbox X, it still looks and runs better on the Pro. I, I want everybody to really understand that. I mean that's how well, that's that's how garbage the X is. Okay, that is hilarious. So you know, <laughs> yeah, I was drinking a Kool Aid, uh, but now understand why though, Lionel, is because um, I thought new hardware. Okay, the Switch is new hardware. It's only lost one MPD since it's been 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 on the market. One, it's only lost one MPD. You know, and so that's what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, with well, Xbox, they gotta win one. They got to win one in their first 100 days, and they couldn't do it. You know, <laughs> uh, you're giving uh, Crackdown and Forza Horizon to come to Xbox X Enhanced for free. Well, remember, all the enhancements were already free, and if you're talking about it coming to Game Pass uncompetitive, you have to pay for Game Pass, so it's not free. It's $20. It's $20 a month now. Come on now. Yeah, the Horizon Zero Dawn skin. Yeah, yeah, we had that one earlier. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to those uh, those pictures you all post on Twitter. So, you know, so it's a uh, <laughs> so yeah. And, and again, I, I get what you guys are doing, Andrew, and I I get what you're saying. And look, that dude, and look, I think Jay Fonz is a cool dude. But yeah, I dealer said some stuff at the beginning of the generation. It just turned out not to be true, but it was his opinion. Okay, his opinion was that the that uh, AAA games are all that matter. You know, even though Xbox 360 had some of the best indie games out, I I played Castle Crashers on the 360 for hours. Again, they're just I, and now and what's happened is now that these now that there's a group of people linked up to them, people are attacking them. And I can just tell you this right now, if if Luca, if Ash and Luca or Blue Ronnie Boo come on to my podcast and I see you all ripping on to them, I'll boot you out permanently. All right. We're not going to be disrespecting women on my podcast. OK, so I mean, not you know, I'm just letting you all know up front right now. That way you all can't say, oh, well, you're not going to be respecting women, especially women of color, but no woman, but not in front of me. I'm old school. You don't do that shit. So I get it. You all, this is a different generation. I respect that. 
but you got to respect the fact if you're going to come in here, you're not going to be disrespecting women. So, I mean, I, I mean, what you do on your own time is what you do on your own time. You're not going to do that in front of me. So, and that's, that's for my podcast. I can't control you on somebody else's podcast. So, cause there were people being disrespectful yesterday and, you know, had Ryan said, look, give these cats the boot for good. Y'all would have been gone. You know, so y'all would have been got to that right now. So, but just do not do that in front of me. You know, like I said, I'm old school. So I'm the guy that will take you behind the woodshed and whoop your ass, you know, belt or no belt. So, I mean, I, again, I can't control what you do on your own podcast or your own time, what you feel about women. Fine. I get it. Hey, if you want to say that there are people doing podcasts with people that are outright frauds, I totally am in your corner. I totally get that. But the disrespect, at least in front of me, it's it ends. You know, that's it. If you can't do that, then for two hours or however long the podcast is, podcast is you need to be doing something fucking else. Now, if you want to leave something in the um, in the comment section, that's on you. But that's just showing you who you are. You all were talking about what you call it. And they never paid Porter Rock yet. I'm like, well, that ain't on P Rock. That's on dude that ain't paid him. Right. Right. Jane, blame Jabba Jabba the Hod the Hod for not paying him allegedly. So, but this whole thing on disrespect, I mean, shit, man, y'all got kids, you got daughters and stuff like that, nieces, you know, cousins. You don't want nobody being disrespectful like that. Just look at it like that. If you can't do that for two hours, then you need to do something else. You know, so it's just, it is what it is. So, you know, so I, I get it though. I understand. Hey, look, such and such is doing a podcast with this person. This person, Four years ago said this. I understand it. Trust me. I understand it. But there's no reason to go in on them. OK, I, that's it. That's all I'm saying is you all got to use some critical thinking. Yeah, because if you do, if you do critical thinking, maybe they start doing some critical thinking. Say, hey, you know what? You did say some fucked up shit a few years ago. And yeah, you need to be like, look, either people are going to keep clowning you until you come out and say, look, I was wrong. You know, like I said, hey, I was wrong about uh, Justice League. I know Justice League was going to be a good movie, but that movie was garbage, trash. Okay, what anybody says about it? Black Panther made more money in 100 hours than Justice League made in 13 weeks. That's how trash it was, okay? But look, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, I was wrong about it. I'm the first one to come out and admit, damn, Justice League was garbage. Yeah, I was disappointed as hell, you know, so you know, who the hell was Jabba Jabba the Ha the Ha? Well, that's what the Aborigines call him. I mean, the Aborigines in Australia refer to him as that. Not me. I just, I take their name. I'm following the Aborigines. So, so I just do not understand, you know, why cats ain't doing that stuff. So, but that's just with me on that. So, on those two. So, do not disrespect them in front of me. I am not going to stand around while women of color get blasted online. There's too many with these white supremacist trolls that come into these rooms and these chats. We got, we're dealing with them. We're dealing with all kind of bullshit, media lies and stuff like that. You have white folks running around saying that they were getting beaten up at the Black Panther movie. There's more lies, propaganda. So if you can't, as a man, feel like you can't keep your fingers to yourself because you're not man enough to say the shit to people's faces. Just don't say nothing at all or don't say it in front of me, period. I mean, that's, so that's it. That's all I got to say about that. So let's move to the PS5 news because my good friend Lou Waffa over in Germany who does the whole sauerkraut, wiener schnitzel and Guinness, here's he pretty much all the stuff he was saying about PS5 it's almost been confirmed yet. So it's almost been confirmed. So, you know, again, the the um, the CPU, which uh, shout out to J-Dub, he told me is the brain of the computer. That's the thing that's going to tell you where to put the table, where to put the lens of the camera, uh, how the distance, all that kind of stuff. They are going to do something to the equivalent of an i5. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know how that performs. But whatever an i5 is, that's kind of the that's kind of like a good chip. That's a good chip. So <laughs> you know, <laughs> well, Michael B. Jordan ain't coming back. He died. So he, uh, you know, he punctured his lung with that vibranium blade, and uh, he pulled the blade out. So. 
which is fine. It was his choice. So, yeah, Michael Jordan, he's already got another role. I think he's going to be either playing um, – Musa Manson, I think that's his name. It's, I can't, or he may be playing the teacher in Atlanta that was uh, circumventing those grades, you know, and so the school can get more money. So, but it's something like that he's doing. But yeah, he's busy and he's doing Creed too. So, <laughs> so you have an i5 in your iMac. Okay. So, but yeah, I mean, overall, uh, that's what the CPU is supposed to do. And because it's got that in it, because it's got that in it. And yeah, this doesn't go for my podcast. If I'm in a podcast and I see you all being nasty as hell to, to the ladies, because they don't need that. They don't need to not feel like they can't play games because they're women or they're people of color. If I see you all doing another podcast, gone. I mean, I will boot you. Okay? This, you got to be better than that. I'm not going to have people coming. I'm not going to have my subs. You're going to sub to me. You're going to represent me. You can't be representing me in a negative light. That's just the way it's going to be. Now, you can come here and clown me all you want to. I'll take it. I mean, I put myself in the public sphere, so to speak. You can clown me and say that I'm trash. I got a low game score on the Xbox because I do. All you play is Mass Effect on the Xbox. Again, that's true because that's the best game they got, you know, <laughs> so my opinion. And I still, I will play that till my fingers fall off, okay? That's just my favorite game of all freaking time. But, you know, you're not going to be clowning me because of what I look like. All right, so that's just the reality of it. So... That death scene at the end was a low point. Why was that a low point, man? Dude did not care anything about the people of Wakanda. Okay, so, um, well, well, it should have a separate GPU. Yeah, that's what Lou Waffa thinks it's going to have. But there is some type of Ryzen chip out that is an APU. But uh, Lou Waffa, what he told me is that it's going to be a separate CPU GPU. Is what he told me. Because they they want to maximize everything, so uh, but we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. And um, but uh, that's the that's what he told me. Twelve something called twelve or fourteen gigs of RAM, uh, three hundred to not three hundred, three eighty to to five sixty, whatever that thing is. I don't know those numbers. I mean, it was ridiculous. So that's what they're working on, and now they're starting to get their chipsets together. The uh, guy with the, M the MPD group also has speculated again that they may announce it this year for next year. I personally think they're going to announce they're going to you're going to start hearing stuff at PSX in 2018. This is just my opinion. OK, you will start hearing things at PSX in 2018. And then in 2019, E3, you'll get an official announcement. Even if it's for later 19 or 2020, you will get your PS5. So, but it, it's going to be a monster. It's going to be a beast, whatever you want to call it. I mean, for all you people still call up, because look, the best looking game I've seen graphically this entire generation has been Horizon Zero Dawn. And I'm talking just graphically. I'm not talking about how the game plays and the effects and all that BS. As far as there's a reason why that game is winning technical achievement awards a year after it's come out. OK, a year after it's come out. So it's you know, so that is the best looking game I've seen. The best looking driving game I've seen. Driving game has been Gran Turismo Sport. Looking, let me make that clear. Best looking driving game. Okay. I'm not going to get into the physics and all that stuff. So I think Forza Horizon is a good game, but I like that other. I like the simulator more. I just don't like the fact that when you pit, you ain't got no pit crew on that Xbox game. That is garbage, garbage, trash. You got to put a pit crew in there. So they got weather, but no pit crew. So Oh, yeah, Uncharted 4 is not, it's nothing against Uncharted 4. Yeah, I liked Uncharted 4, too. But as far as the best-looking game I've seen is Horizon Zero Dawn, okay? That's the best-looking game I've seen. And as far as looks, Mass Effect Andromeda, that's a great-looking game, okay? And let's not get back into you want a Black Panther VR game. Yeah, a lot of people are wanting to cash in on that Black Panther. So, you know, <laughs> don't... don't uh, <laughs> Don't be shocked if it doesn't happen. So, yes, the Order 1886, yeah, that was built with 
with cin cinematic stuff in mind. That's that's what they went for. They went for high cinematic looks and they went for low story because the story, well, the game itself, garbage. Garbage, but it looked fantastic. It had some cool ass weapons too. So yeah, I don't blame for wanting a VR, a VR Black Panther, and that would be pretty cool. So yeah, yeah, OBJ. Yeah, like I said, it's the best looking game. I'm not gonna argue whether it's the best game, because that's yeah, I mean, you could argue that. Even Wish Call look real good too. Um uh the the 1440p 30 game, the shit fire, uh, the oh my god, I can't I, it's right on the tip of my tongue. The Uncharted Lost Legacy. Yeah, that that looked good, you know. So <laughs> no movie license games, please. Well, we're getting Spider-Man. And Spider-Man, I can pretty much guarantee it's gonna be 1440p running at 60 frames per second. That's what I think is gonna be running. Because that's the sweet spot for this console generation. Okay, not 4K. Now, somebody asked me a 4K question, but I can't remember who it was. Yeah, the Decimate engine was good enough for Kojima. Yeah, which he's already changed for his game, Death Stranded. He's already changed it. He's already got a hybrid of it. So. So. <laughs> so, yeah, again, Kojima's tough. You think Anthem will flop, or do you think EA Bioware would even? I'm not buying Anthem. So, I, after what they did to Mass Effect Andromeda, I will not buy Anthem. So, now Anthem is allegedly going to be playable at EA Play. Wherever EA Play is going to be, they're going to have a playable Anthem demo. So speaking of demo, uh, Yakuza 6, that demo is available, right? Do you have to buy the game or can you just get the demo? So, you know, the, all right, well, all right, let's just say Spider-Man is 1440p 30. Are you gonna, is that going to prevent you from playing it? Because it won't prevent me because I'm I'm Mr. 1440p 30. I love that resolution to, um, I like that resolution to, um, uh, to FPS range for a console, for a console. So, and now 60, oh, I understand some shooting games and, um, yeah, shooting games and then other stuff, but stuff like RPGs and stuff like that, I don't need no 60 frames. So, hmm. <laughs> well, okay, if they do play pay for Anthem for a year, that's fine. I mean, like, this is why it's good to own both consoles, guys. Just get both consoles. Look, you can get an Xbox One S. S. For a hundred and like fifty bucks at a pawn shop, I'm serious. I mean, they they they've got like two twenty up there. You walk in there and say, "Man, I got a hundred fifty bucks. Let me get that S." They'll sell it to you. At least here in my city, they will. So, oh yeah. I, I mean, again, you're, you're right, Xbox guy. And again, I wish them nothing but the best. And the next EA game I buy will be Madden. I mean, I will buy Madden every year, but I'm not going to buy another EA game. So, and I wish them nothing but the best of luck. I'm not going to hate on Anthem. I'm just not going to buy it. So, <laughs> 1600p native minimum. All right, well, that's fine too. I'd rather it be 1440p that with a 2K, 1440p. Now, to some people, 1440p is 4K. You got to remember that. <laughs> so, you know, do I think Sony and Microsoft should focus on making HDR a standard or 4K next gen? Um, I think that is up to the developers. Uh, HDR is software, so it it does look good. I mean, in Mass Effect Andromeda, I've streamed that game, and I've turned. I still got HDR running, HDR running. So my HDR does well on that game. Now, a game it doesn't do that well on, and again, I got a low gambit. But a game my HDR does not do well on is um, damn Wolfenstein. My HDR does not do well on Wolfenstein. I actually turned it off. So we'd rather have an STD. Damn. 4K temporal injection. Yeah, that's fine, too. That's just a nice way of upscaling. Um, but again, I'm not worried about what, I, I mean, we've seen what Spider-Man looks like. So I'm not worried about it. I'm just more worried about when we're going to get the release date. So. You won't rule out getting Anthem. Yeah, again, look, I'm not going to buy Anthem, I, and I'm not going to buy another EA game again. I wish them nothing but the best of luck. Uh, look, I enjoy Star Wars Battlefront 2 as a Star Wars fan. I really appreciate them doing that story mode and connecting episodes 6 and 7. Really, I really appreciated that as a Star Wars fan. But 
I'm done with EA. I ain't going to bash them. I wish Anthem nothing but the best. There are people in the Mass Effect community that want, they want Anthem to fail because of what happened with Mass Effect. But again, that's not me. That's I'm not one of those people. I'm just not going to buy another EA game. So Anthem is getting red box treatment. <laughs> That's if they have it now. So, <laughs> uh, again, Anthem is supposed to uh, be uh, have a have a have a single player mode. What we'll the wait? Again, it doesn't bother me. I will cover it because it will be news. But I'm not buying it now. Let me make this clear. Somebody sends the money to my PayPal and says, "Here's here's here's money for you to get Anthem, Craig." I'll buy it at that point, but I'm not going to spend my money on it. Because, yeah, I am boycotting all EA things except for Madden. I, I compromised and I bought Star Wars. So, you know, that was it. Uh, Detroit probably going to come out first. Uh, yeah, again, and if, if if Detroit is sitting there the same day that Anthem is, I'll buy Detroit. So, but again, I'm buying Detroit anyway. Uh, there's, have that, uh, they have not said God of War is going to support ACR. That's a good question, though. Detroit Become Human will. I do know that. Uh, Days Gone will have HDR support. So we just have to wait and see. Redbox reviewed the whole Destiny 2 campaign on his channel. <laughs> Which I enjoyed Destiny 2's campaign. I, I like that. So, uh, well, we're, we're never going to see another Mass Effect unless they re I mean, again, all we want in the Mass Effect community, again, keeping it at 100 here, we just want remasters of the original trilogy with all free DLC. That's it. That's all we want is give us that and all is forgiven. You know, but this Andromeda thing, like I said, I, I had to go back in and play it again and just not think about the original trilogy. And I'm like, all right, I was able to enjoy it a little bit more. But it's still compared to the original trilogy, it's it's bad. But if, like I told, shout out to Fatal Mephisto. If that was called anything else but Mass Effect Andromeda, that game would have been probably pretty popular. They could have called it Journey to Andromeda, uh, the Deep Space Camp. I mean, whatever you want to call it, Deep Space Ten. You know, I don't know what to call it. You know, just uh, you know, you know, uh, Journey to the Black Hole in Andromeda. Whatever you want to call it, they could have called it anything but Mass Effect. It would have been okay. So, you know, <laughs> but I don't think Anthem will fail. I just, I'm not buying it. And again, I'll cover it. It's not like I'm not going to be talking about it. I'm just not going to buy it. So, yeah, you, you need to play Heavy Rain before Detroit become human hump. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, and look, there were things about it that just didn't make any sense. And, you know, it was almost like the Mass Effect team did not want to deal with the endings of Mass Effect 3. And then somebody there should have just manned up and played the game. And then whatever they chose, they should have said, okay, we're going to use this ending. Here's your romance partner that I romance. And because I romance Miranda. I, ro I romance Ashley the first time I played through, but Ashley's a racist. So the second time I romance Miranda, but Miranda can't have kids. And how do I know that? Because you're going to be like, well, how do you know that? Well, I know that because I've got the Lair, the Shadow Broker DLC. And Miranda, even though her body looked like she was 27, her body was actually 94. She could not have kids. So, uh, and then the then one time I played through and I I I romanced Ashley and uh not Ashley, Liara. You know, I romanced Liara like for the all three games. And uh that was a pretty cool romance. So, you know, but the game is set up so that either you romanced Ashley or Liara. OK, that's how that game is set up. If you're a male shepherd, if you're a female shepherd, it's set up like you romance either Cade Nolinko or um, Garris Vicari. So, you know, but that's 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 why that game is kind of set the way it is. So and again, if you yeah, PS4 does look great. It looks great on the pro. Apart from the face being tired, yeah, yeah, that's um, um, I, I don't. You're right, yeah. But, but as far as what Mass Effect Andromeda looks like and plays like, it looks great, it plays great, but the story was just lacking. And usually, if you hear, man, the game looks great, it plays great, 
you you know, you're hitting two out of the three boxes. So, again, it was guys like me, the hardcore Mass Effect fans, that were the most disappointed with Andromeda. So, uh, got to just take us with a grain of salt. This that's that's all I can say. So, <laughs> you know, Anthem and anything with loot boxes will not get your money. Yeah, I don't I don't blame you. I don't blame it. That Xbox guy again, I would love to see it get enhanced too. Hopefully that gets announced at E3. I mean, like I said to people before, Microsoft comes out of E3. They show fours of four. They show the new Ori game. They show um uh Cold Vein. I know that's multiplat. They show Cold Vein. Um, they show Black Desert, they show Ashen, they show um oh man, well, they show a CGI trailer for Gear six and a CGI trailer for uh Halo, whatever the Halo Gears Gears Five and Halo Six. And then they come out, they announce Mass Effect Remaster one, two, and three, getting the treatment. That I'd say that's a great E3. I'm not gonna say they won E3 because again, I'm not in that whole console war mind. So you found it free on PSN. What did you find for free? So the cat were a bad enemy. Yeah, they were because the cat they only had about three months to design the cat, like their entire story. They only had three months. So everything was rushed. They pretty much just gave you a remaster of what the Reapers were doing in the other galaxy. So, and again, Mass Effect Andromeda was, was supposed to be more resource driven. You know, you were supposed to have to go out and get resources and build your, um, build settlements and stuff like that. It was free. BS, that game is not free. Come on now. So, you know, so, well, Xbox, they don't really announce these enhancements or smaller games. They just drop them. They won't show that either. Well, again, again, Mass Effect is one of the defining games of last generation. So, and it's, it's one of the few trilogies we got. You know, you don't have a lot of games with trilogies. So, and um, I mean, you do. They're, they're pretty much bigger franchises. You know, you look at all the games, all the, Franchise with three or more games are huge franchises. So, I mean, I mean, Splinter Cell, um, Final Fantasy, Resident Evil. We were talking about that earlier. Those all have three, four, five games. You know, so it's a uh, strawberry cheesecake does sound good. So, if it's free, you might download it. <laughs> well, if it's free, I may download it. So, ah, that shit ain't free. Don't believe that. So, he's just teasing. But he's in a different part of the world, so it may be free where he is. So let me be stop myself right there. So, <laughs> oh come on, it's not free. Yeah, it's ten bucks. Yeah, I'm about to say it may be ten bucks, and you may have had some money saved up. But you know, you think EA is temporarily lost? Yeah, Konami. I agree. What Konami did was terrible. They paying for it though, so it's on sale right now. Yeah, see Frank B one. Shout out to Frank. So. It's 10 bucks on PSN. I, I, again, I recommend it if it's $10, okay? <laughs> I do recommend it. If you have it on the Pro, I recommend it because you do get the enhancements and stuff like that. So it's not bad. You know, you can actually go online and create your character. So, and, um, you know, I created the female character I created. I did that off of what somebody did online. It actually was a, um, she was a model. And we designed it after a model. Ten dollars, I recommend the game. Yeah, yeah. Ten dollars is ten dollars. So that is the equivalent of ordering a pizza for delivery. And you pay twelve bucks. Not that bad. Yeah, because space bags over their head. <laughs> well, they fixed the animation of my face being tired. They did fix that, but it was too late. Bioware let that game get out like that. It, and again, EA didn't give a damn because EA wanted the game out. In, for, in the first quarter of that year. And uh, Matt Walters, God bless him, he did not have the gravitas, the balls, the cachet, whatever you want to call it, to um, to stop EA. Now, Casey Hudson would have walked in there and said, look, we can't put this game out for another three to six months. And EA would have held the game because that was Casey friggin' Hudson. There is no free game on P What's the free game on PSN? Uh, they haven't announced them yet. They probably won't announce them until tomorrow morning or later tonight. And so. But yeah, take it easy, Chris. So hit that like button, folks. Damn, there's 40 of you all in here. There's only 16 likes. Hit that like button for me. So I wish you could create different races with the character creator. Um, well, 
you can play as a different race in multiplayer, but that's it. So you can play as a different race in multiplayer. So shout out to you again, Lionel Bulgin. So you can put Space Bay. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Again, they uh, er, everybody else in that game. Hold on, bones ringing. Again, everybody else in that game's animations were okay. It was just that one. That one scene is kind of the. Um, let me cut back here. That one scene is the. Um, is the defining scene of that game of her saying my face is tired. But, you know, uh, but, yeah, that was pretty much it, man. Have you all got any questions over there? Any Infinity War questions, Black Panther questions, and stuff that kind of went over your head in the movie I can answer? So, yeah, hit that, hit those buttons down there, man. There's 20, there's 40 of you all in here. I had 24 likes. Get the likes up, folks. Come on. I'm not that bad. So, <laughs> So any other questions? Any any other uh, Aquaman got a screening and the uh, brass it, uh, the brass liked that, but uh, the, if, it, if the brass liked it, that means the fans won't like it. <laughs> it's kind of the way that goes over there, at DC. So Emmy two, see, let's see, maybe it's just you, but consuming me one mediocre. Emmy three is left. Right. Well, what's what was mediocre about Emmy one? Okay, seriously. I mean, no, no other game had been like that, uh, Corey Massey. So, yeah, Emmy. Well, see, I think Emmy Three was fine. Where are the games for your Xbox? Man, they got like fifteen hundred games, OBJ. Now, I, they may have some games that you don't like, and that's cool. So, Emmy Trilogy was great. Yeah, look, if you all play Mass Effect, play Mass Effect One. Make sure you get that DLC. Uh, bring down the sky. Get that, because that tells you a whole lot about uh, Terra Nova, the Batarians, and all that stuff. Mass Effect Two, get the uh, the um, get the gray box, uh, the Kasumi. It's called uh, Kasumi Stolen Memory. That only costs like four ninety nine for Mass Effect Two, and uh, it runs great on the Xbox. So, and it looks great on Xbox X on a four K TV because of the up sampling, down sampling, whatever you want to call it. Uh, draw distances look great. And then get the uh, Zaid Masani. Get that because Zaid Masani, you're going to find out, started the, uh, I think he started the Eclipse uh, Merc group. So there's a lot of stuff. And also on Mass Effect 2, get uh, the, uh, download the uh, Shadow of the, uh, the Shadow Broker DLC. Because you can learn a whole lot about the Mass Effect Galaxy, about how much the Shadow Broker knew about the Reaper threat, about how you know, how the Shadow Broker, how Liara actually was the one that recovered your body. Did you all know that? Liara to Sony was the one that recovered your body from uh, that from your ship being blown up in Mass Effect 2, and she delivered it to, to Miranda. She delivered it to Miranda. So, of service. She delivered it to Miranda on a covert mission. A lot of folks don't know that, but that's part of the Mass Effect lore that, to me, makes that game the greatest game ever. So, uh, yeah, Corey Massey, you're right. They had a lot of they had a lot um, of room for improvement, and they did that in Mass Effect Two. So they did improve it in Mass Effect Two. So I mean, one was most open world centric, and the world city hubs was better than two and three. I agree with that. I mean, two just had better characters, and three gameplay was better than one. Two. Yeah, yeah. And remember, uh, Mass Effect Two and Three are running on the same engine on the... Uh, I'm sorry. Mass Effect 2 is running on an old engine on the Xbox. The PlayStation 3, Mass Effect 2, is running the new Mass Effect 3 engine, that new Unreal engine, the physics engine. That's why Mass Effect 2 on the uh, PlayStation, it ran better on, on the PlayStation than the Xbox, So, which was a shock, you know? <laughs> it was what was just Cerberus. So, so I mean, yeah, you find out a whole lot of stuff. Like um, Mass Effect Two, when you go and see Anderson, and Anderson says, "Yeah, there were rumors that you were still alive." If you get this DLC, you'll find out why Anderson had heard the rumors. I mean, you this all. I mean, I get. Look, I get it. Like to a casual fan, that's gonna go over you all's heads. But like to me, as a Mass Effect fan, I wanted to know how he even knew. I was with servers, so <laughs> so no, no, no. Me two, me two was great on the three hundred and sixty. The engine, however, 
wasn't as good as the one on the PlayStation. With that said, the one on the PlayStation came out, what, a year and a half later? And ME2, they did, they did, the PlayStation did not have access to ME1, and they were letting you make these choices. It was a sick-ass joke. I still remember that. So it was a sick joke. So, yeah, Kevin Smith it, Yeah, Kevin Smith had a Widowmaker. That's a total blockage of his L LAD. So and uh, he would have died. If he hadn't gotten to the hospital, he would have died within the next two hours. So, but he, he got out of surgery, so... And uh, he is recovering. So, yeah, he it'll probably take him a year to recover because he's not in the best shape. So, Mass Effect Drama had the best and most. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah, 17, you're right. Best combat. Yeah, because, again, Mass Effect and Gears of War, those enemies come at you the same way. They come at you in waves. And then you had the bigger enemies and you had the smaller enemies that move fast. I mean, it's the same as Gears, but it's running the same Unreal Engine. It's, it's a... It's a water. The Mass Effect engine is a watered down version of the Gears engine. So, mm, Xbox guy, I agree with you. And it, it took them what? It took them. Um, it took them finally in what 2012. They finally got access to all the games on the PlayStation. Yeah, I, I mean, again, Ma when Mass Effect came out, that was one of those games that sold the 360. I remember when I. When I saw that game, because I went to that E3 where, where they showed Mass Effect, I'm like, wow, I'm so glad I got the 360. You know, so, you know, <laughs> oh, you didn't know that about Kevin Smith? So, uh, ME has been shit since Drew. Um, Drew, the books, you mean, Corey? Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, and again, like, I read the books. I mean, I was so heavily in, uh, invested in Mass Effect, I would take two or three days off. I had the I had the novel and I went to the swimming pool and I read the books for three days. Books I read the comic books, but that's me. I'm I'm a I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. So you know we had a cool community with the messaging and skyping and getting to know each other. And there were people in different countries who were talking. I mean it's just really great. And for it to end the way it ended, it was just really hard for on a lot of us. So you know. Yeah, I yeah. Well, again, the 360 version of that game. I played Mass Effect. I tell you how much I like it. I've told this story. This is for the new subs. I liked Mass Effect so much that when the when the game was over and the credits started rolling, I actually watched the credits. Okay, I've never done that before on a video game. I physically sat there and watched the credits because I wanted to see everybody's name that it provided me with that kind of entertainment. And I mean, that's how much I really like the game. So, and I still like Mass Effect. I still get choked up playing Mass Effect and making the decisions. And now, you know, because there's still stuff in that game that I was still, I never know, you know. So, I mean, it's like, man, I didn't know that. And I played that game at least 20 times. So, uh, it would be a new Bioshock. It should be. Yeah, I would love to see a new Bioshock. So, GTA 6 is never happening. Oh, uh, don't say never. <laughs> so, but we should see a new Bioshock again. But see, Bioshock sales have gone down ever since Bioshock Two, because Bioshock Two was a big disappointment to a lot of people. So, which I enjoyed Bioshock Two. I enjoyed the the third Bioshock. A lot of people didn't like Bioshock Three. Infinite. I liked Bioshock Three. So, I thought that character Elizabeth is that her name? Elizabeth. I thought that she was one of the coolest characters ever created. You know, how she would throw you that stuff. I mean, that was great. Yeah. So, yeah, 360 had Oblivion. Yeah, I spent hours on Oblivion. Hours. And it was because when I played Oblivion the first time, I didn't like it because it told me to deliver that letter to Wayne Priory, and I delivered it. Well, when you deliver that letter, and this is for anybody who's never played Oblivion, the, if you deliver the letter, that starts the end of the game. It's kind of hard to understand. Even though this is at the first 20 minutes of the game and the game is over 100 hours long, um, that starts the end of the game. So what you want to do is not deliver the letter and you want to join the Thieves Guild. Now, how did I find this out? Because I took that game back like within the three-day time limit to GameStop and the guy said, Look, did you deliver the letter to Wayne Priory? I said, yeah. He said, don't do that. Restart the game. 
and go join the Thieves Guild. And after that, I got lost in that game because I joined the Thieves Guild, which led me to joining the Dark Brotherhood, which led me to becoming a vampire, which led me to just assassinating people left and right. I played Dark Brotherhood missions for five hours of, on Saturdays. That was like what I did, you know, on this Dark Brotherhood. So, yeah. Oblivion's better than Skyrim. Um, yeah, I can see why you would say that. Skyrim was a little more jury, jury looking. Um, I liked Skyrim more because the dragons were random. I like I liked Oblivion's story more, but I liked uh, I liked Skyrim just as good. So I, I enjoyed it. They had some good DLC too. So ODST is a waste of Xbox hard space. Yeah, ODST is one of the first cash grabs ever done. ODST was supposed to be this straight $19 DLC. If you're talking about a orbital drop uh, from, uh, for Halo, that was a cash grab and a half. So Bioshock Infant DLC was better than me. I didn't play, so I didn't play that one, One Name Shadow. So shout out to you for doing that. So still didn't beat Oblivion. Well, again, don't deliver the letter, the letter to Wayne Priory. That's all I can say. That the that guy is going to tell you, deliver this letter to my brother. Don't do it. It sounds crazy, but don't do it. That starts the end of the game. Go ahead and build your character up. I have my, my character at level 55, and then I delivered the letter. And then the Oblivion Gate started opening, and you can actually go into the Oblivion Gates. And uh, I was wailing. I was hauling. I was whooping ass in there, but I was already at level 50. So... Yeah, Reach was the best. Halo, the story was top. Yeah, well, I agree. Seventeen. I'm I'm in an odd spot because I'm I'm in the minority. I liked Halo Reach and the Halo community. They couldn't stand Halo Reach, and I love Halo Reach. So, uh, you played Skyrim first, then went back. Yeah, yeah. Again, Oblivion is. I like again. I liked Oblivion story a lot more than I liked Skyrim story, but um, I like. Skyrim as far as the dragons being random. And then you couldn't you couldn't get away from them. Once they found you, you you had to fight them, you know. <laughs> oh, Bioshock has all DLC. Okay. You got bodied in Oblivion. Yeah. Yeah, don't worry. And Oblivion, and I always played Oblivion and I played Skyrim in third person. But Desda said those games are designed for you to play in first person, which I don't like playing games in first person. That's why I don't like Deuce, was it Deuce X or whatever it was. I didn't care for it because it's, it's in first person. So you like Reach's campaign? Yeah, I did too. I loved Reach. Yeah, you get to see how big that Covenant invasion was, you know. So, you know, the multiplayer was crap. Yeah, but that's just it, Mario. And I, that's, I remember when I, when I was in GameStop and that guy said that, I about went off on him. Well, the multiplayer wasn't that good. <laughs> You know, it's like, damn, here's a damn about the multiplayer. So, yeah, Skyrim was way more casual. I agree, Lionel. Uh, Far Cry, I did like Far Cry Primal. I like Far Cry 2, and that was it. I haven't liked those other Far Cries. So, oh, you're playing Moss? All right. Well, as long as you like it. 17, oh, it's downloading. Okay. So, any other questions here? Um. Reach down. Yeah, well, we answered that. ODST is like it's like No Man's Sky and that too. Uh, I was see No Man's Sky. That's I still enjoyed that. So Oblivion is way better than Sky. Oh, yeah, we saw that one. Me two. Oh, what's this about Mass Effect two? Uh, Gears two is the ultimate. Yeah, I, I did think I, I gave. I mean, again, I'm partial to Mass Effect, but Gears is still one of the best franchises out there. Can't can't f with gears. So, Horizon Zero Dawn credits ending was in a great looking. So, yeah, and again, the Mass Effect One's credits in. I mean, when Mass Effect ended, it ended. You know, it went to a black screen and the credits came up, and then it was garbage. That song that came on was was trash. And I didn't again. I didn't watch it because I liked the song. I watched the credits because I wanted to give each person credit for that kind of entertainment. And then when they they came out and they said. Uh, you have to save your game for Mass Effect 1 because it's going to carry over to Mass Effect 2. I'm like, what? I mean, that was fantastic. I got a chub because of that stuff. So, you know, and it's, uh, it's yeah, I still did it. So, 
Yeah, I, Mass Effect trilogy I, again. I give it a slight edge, slight edge over uh, over Gears, but not not a whole lot. I thought Gears. I thought Mass Effect two, Mass Effect two, and Gears two were two of the best games you can play. But Gears three was better than Mass Effect three. But Gears Judgment, which I like, but Gears Judgment pulls that whole uh, series down. But I like Gears Judgment. So, uh, but I people did not like that game, and that did pull down the quality of the series. Gears Four is a good game. So, played over seven hundred hours in all the Gears games. Yeah, that's the main thing. That's what I like seeing how long you guys have played, and because that's what it's all about. Like, I mean, I spent Saturdays. I used to watch college football game day in the fall, but when Oblivion was out, I stopped watching it because I would get up, I would go work out. I would come back home at 8.30, shower. I would jump back in bed with that Xbox joystick, and then I would start playing. You know, I would play. I would play until the – because remember, those those 12 o'clock games were garbage. Garbage. All right? So then the – um, you know, they were bad. So the 3 o'clock games, I would play from 9 a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. Then I would stop playing. Okay? Then I wouldn't play anymore for the rest of the weekend. So – but that's me, you know. So that's the way I am. So, what trilogy is on sale for nine eighty nine? So, you feel sorry for the locusts? Okay. <laughs> I'm just here. I'm trying to see if there's any more questions. So, I don't see any. Um, I don't see any front row riders in here. So that's good, guys. That's real good. So. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, but again, I, my favorite game series is Mass Effect. But that's why, because it, I, I was picking the way that story was going, and um, you know, that's Gears Judgment was trash. Yeah, I, and I understand that that pulled down the whole series. I like Gears Judgment, but I get it. I get it. <laughs> so, uh, Emmy franchise needed Drew Carpat. Well. Again, Drew wrote the books, so I understand what you're saying. You know, I, I respect the fact that you're saying that. So, yeah, Gears 3 is the best for you. Yeah, Gears 3 was, was good. So, I mean, think about the characters that were on the Xbox. I mean, Master Chief and, and Marcus Fingers. They gave birth to all those people. You know, whoever your Jedi was in the Knights of the Old Republic, you know, Sam Fisher, those three icons are no longer what Xbox is about. And that's why people are upset. The Grub Killer. I like that thing on Gears. It would say boom. So a uh, properly made Mass Effect game will not be done for five years. OK, they, they, it won't be. It'll be five. I mean, I, I'll be dead before we get another Mass Effect. Oh, come on. The trilogy, man. Come on, Frank. You know, I mean, seriously, come on. The trilogy by and far. So if you want to play them in order, play Mass Effect. It's hard to play them in order because, all right, play Mass Effect 2. Play Mass Effect 1 and 2, all right? Then go play Mass Effect Andromeda. Then go back and play Mass Effect 3. That's kind of the way you should play those games, okay? <laughs> That's kind of way, but Andromeda was, I mean, look, we were all, look, look, when you, one day, if you want to see something crazy, uh, go to this girl's channel, GamerMD83. Let me type that in the chat. Um, go to that girl's channel, okay? Watch her, type in uh, her reaction to uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. And she started crying. She was so excited about getting another Mass Effect game. She cried. And um, to have her, and it took her almost six months to do, uh, that six months, it took her a while to do a Mass Effect Andromeda review. And for her not to like the game, that was kind of a death knell for the Mass Effect community because she built her channel on Mass Effect. She built her channel on it. And, um, it's to have her say, I didn't like the game. To hear that, to hear Deanna Tate, another big Mass Effect person, say, I didn't like the game. Uh, Mass Effect, um, Emmy Odyssey. That was a podcast, Emmy Odyssey. 
um, you know, gone. These podcasts are gone. Uh, and being drama nerds, gone. Okay, this, these podcasts don't exist anymore. And uh, it's because this game was so bad and it was so poorly received. So you subscribed to her last year. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I mean, again, and I'm not here mocking her. I'm just telling you how excited some of us got for, for a new Mass Effect game. <laughs> I do not have her Instagram. It ain't no, I, I mean, I don't sub to her anymore because remember, I was one of the people that lashed out against the Mass Effect community. I'm like, how in the world did you all get early access and then lie on this game and these animations and shout out to uh fatal mefesto he was like they can't tell the truth about the game you know so look, look i'm just telling you to go there spartan god and look at that reaction okay that's it i mean i'm not knocking the channel i ain't knocking her you know i you know i'm no longer sub to her channel so you know but it's it's uh it, it was so bad people were like we got to start making different kind of videos and stuff like that. And people don't, I mean, look, there were some major channels, guys. I'm talking about people that had 40 to 50,000 subs. Their, their channels, they don't even do videos anymore because the game was so bad. It was it was received so poorly. I should put it like that. So, no, I ain't got nobody's Instagram. So, <laughs> but Mario, yeah, shout out to Mario Santa. He knows who that is. So. And I'm just simply saying, look at it as far as how excited people were. You know, they're under contract. Well, that's fine, but it's still garbage. Yeah, go get that Mass Effect trilogy if you got an Xbox and it's backwards compatible. Just throw it in there. That emulator will come on, but just make sure you get the DLC. So you can get all three of those games right now for like $13 and you throw in the DLC and the skins. You're looking at about another $25. So you can get a good quality experience for under 40 bucks with all the games and all the DLC and all the skins. Cause that's what I had, you know, my Miranda. And, and that's why I hate the fact we can't stream Xbox stuff on, um, on YouTube. I mean, we just, it sucks, you know, <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> uh, I'm not playing Shamu three. I mean, I know a lot of people are, so, <laughs> mm. You want Adam? Okay, the reason why I agree, but let me tell you this Adam Sessler is the reason why we're doing this. Okay, then don't let anybody tell you otherwise. We all wanted to be Adam Sessler sitting across from Morgan Webb, and Adam Sessler is kind of the father of doing this type of stuff, and then you know. Jeff Keeley was on those channels. So, well, I mean, yeah, her voice is annoying. She's she's a kid. Well, compared to, you know, she's a kid. So, but uh, she had a good channel. I mean, I'm not, I don't know what she's doing on the channel now, but I unsub, you know, I unsub to her. But I, I mean, that was in that, in that state of anger with the whole Xbox community about how they went out to EA San Francisco and they lied about the game. I mean, they lied. So, uh, Kevin, Jeff, all need to make a comeback. Uh, Kevin Pereira ain't gonna make no comeback. If you're, that's who you're talking about, uh, Jeff Keeley, is that who you're talking about? Um, that would be cool. Morgan Webb, um, she was considered like the first gamer girl, or however you want to call it, and uh, she was actually married, and people didn't know it, and everybody would wonder why she kept covering up her hands. It was because her ring was so big. That um, it would it would distract the camera. It would reflect. So you know, <laughs> you remember X Play? Yeah, X Play. On I I would watch G Four. I remember back in the day. I come home from work, take a shower. I would just watch G Four for hours. You know, yeah. Remember, yeah, Attack of the Show. Remember that? Yeah, we and that had um that other woman that was on there, Olivia Munn. That's where she got started. You know, so. Yeah, everybody remembers Morgan Webb and Olivia Munn. They were all on Attack of the Show. So, you know, Kevin Pereira. You know, I remember, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, X-Play at first, yeah. Well, it was X-Play. Like, X-Play came on at 6, and then Attack of the Show came on at 7. I don't know what came on at 8. So... You know, see, I don't know what came on at eight. So, 
<laughs> yeah, and they need to bring those shows back. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. Oh, that's missing. But the reason why we're online doing this is because we were all fans of Adam Sessler. Do not. I know he looked like somebody's granddaddy, but that's why we're doing this. You know, and the last time he did a report was in 2013 because he was the one that came out and said, oh, my God, I think Sony just won E3. I remember his report more than anything. That stands out to me more than anything. And there were a ton of reports. But um, E3 2013, just type that in. Adam Sessler, E3 2013. OK, and um, type that in and uh, check that out. So. And um, let me put in my uh, PayPal information. Um, not me, because I keep people keep I keep forgetting to put this in in case anybody wants to donate to the call to help a guy. But you know, he reported for Rev. Yeah, I think yeah, uh, Seventeen's right. I think he was with Rev Gaming when he did um, when he did that report in 2013. So <laughs> YouTube made it impossible. Sarah's one of the hottest ones on Attack of the Show. Yeah, everybody, everybody on Attack of the Show was, um, you know, was 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 good. That was a good show. So uh, Kevin Pereira was on there and uh, Olivia Munn. It was a cool, cool show. So, but uh, yeah. All right, yeah, guys, any questions? A little Q&A? If not, I'm going to get on up out of here. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, now everybody has their own channel. Yeah, we, IGN has their own channel. So GameSpot has their own channel. I agree with that. So Sarah was the hottest one attack on the show. Yeah, I mean, again, yeah, I read that already, yeah. But the fact that you all remember that, this shows you we got way more in common than what you think. I watched Attack of the Show and X-Play. So, you know... <laughs> No Monster Hunter, not not for a while. So not for a while. So I'm trying to get back into playing Elite Dangerous because I I had not played that for like three weeks. So we've come a long way. Yeah, the gaming community has gone from that to we now have our own channels. We now have the ability to sit down and screenshot. We can we can all show video play now. We can all review games. You know so. It's, you know, the industry, we're, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. So, yeah, but that's, I'm just not playing Monster Hunter now because I just, I started playing Elite Dangerous and I'm, that's, you know, I got to play that a little bit more. <laughs> while I still can, while I still can. So, Fresh Gear now. Yes, yeah, see, I, see, Tech TV, that, they merged with G4. I watched, I played G4 a hell of a lot more, so. Monster Hunter game of the year for you. Cool. Yeah, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking Monster Hunter, but uh, yeah, it was the, you know, uh, but it's just, um, it's not something that um, I'm playing right now. So, was dying always, showing cops and nothing else. Yeah, I remember X plays E3. Yeah. <laughs> what am I getting? Persona? I do not know. It's a good question. So, if it has puzzles on it, I'm not buying it. So, and I should have bought Persona around the holiday. I just didn't do it because it was what twenty nine dollars around the holiday. I bought near Amabata. So, so yeah, hit that like button, people. Come on now, get the likes up. So, oh, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, we got thirty four and there's thirty one likes, so that's fine. So, but yeah, are there, are there any? What's going on, OG John? So. <laughs> Y'all right, are silly. <laughs> no puzzles in persona. All right, well, I, I may pick it up then. I may pick it up. So, you know, the iPhone X now has a home button adapter. Oh, I did not know that. Cool. Uh, I just started. It's turning. All right, well, that's cool. Yeah, I'll try to pick it up. Yeah, I agree. 2005 is when it um, Stop asking for likes. Well, I'm just saying, get the likes up, folks. You know, I'm not that bad. <laughs> so that's free. That's a free donation for me. So it was only 20 bucks. What was it on? Uh, what about Medieval? Glad it's coming back, but I'm not going to buy it. But I'm glad it's coming back. 
because I know a lot of people have been asking for it. Yeah, G4 started dying in 2005. Yeah, I was really big on G4. 2000 to 2006 is when I really watched G4. So That's okay, bro. It ain't the end of the world. So that's not the end of the world. Any news on Ant Man and the Walls? Um, not yet. It's a uh, on what on what the story is going to be. Not yet because uh, they're still in the midst of the whole Black Panther thing. That movie is making an ungodly amount of money, and uh, of course, you know we got Infinity War coming up in eight weeks. So we're going to start hearing about that. Then after we come down from Infinity War, we're going to Ant Man and Walls. Kind of a uh, here's your dessert. You know, after the big bad Thanos comes through. So, yeah. So, no. But that's the end of the Marvel movies this year. We're going to get get them all out of the way by August. So, uh, Black Panther is getting a game, but Disney needs a studio to make it. Oh, well, that I didn't know. So, I did not know that. So, <laughs> they're getting screwed by coming after. Um, no, technically they're not because it's, it's not, it's, it's not to be taken that seriously. It's called Ant-Man and the Wall. So, um, it's perfectly set up, you know, so the moose is in the hoose. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, and there's a good chance Infinity War will, let's see, they're all coming out. Black Panther's run should end at the end of April. That's when they should pull it out of the theater. So, you know, they'll be in the discount theater, stuff like that. Then they'll make room for uh, Infinity War. So, yeah, they'll make them. Yeah, but Ant, but I, yeah, Ant Man and Walls, I'm excited. I like the first Ant Man. I think that's a cool character. Um, he's not my favorite character, but I think that's a cool character. So, yeah, and A Wrinkle in Time is getting mixed reviews right now. So, I certainly hope it picks up for, for them. So, Summit Games is going to make Marvel games. Really? I didn't know that. So, see, I think a cool game to be to make would be The Flash. Because you can have him being a cool detective and then make, you know, solving crimes. And then and then you can have him at night being the Flash. I think that would be cool, a cool game. But that's again, my opinion. You know, that is my opinion. And CD also making Marvel. They may be, I'm not for sure. So. I mean, but if Marvel starts getting into the video gaming and stuff like that, I think that'd be pretty good. So, <laughs> if it weren't for the movie, you wouldn't mess with Ant Man. Yeah, and I remember I went to go see Ant Man opening weekend. It wasn't a whole lot of people in the theater, and it was an enjoyable movie. So, you know, Squirrel Girl, eh, that's that probably wouldn't be that good of a movie. So, but yeah, and now maybe something on Netflix. You know, maybe something because Jessica Jones, that starts next week. People didn't love the first Guardians. I did. Yeah, I love the first Guardians. The second Guardians is on, um, it's on Netflix right now. Uh, Doctor Strange 2 may get bumped for the second Black Panther movie. Possibly. It's already, they're talking about it. Because they because Ryan Coogler want the uh Ryan Coogler wants to direct the Black Panther movie, but you know, he's getting all kind of project offers now. So, you know, Marvel's gonna have to wrap him up. Yeah, Guardians One I thought was really good. So Superman doesn't deserve a game because of that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's tough. Superman is it's that poor Superman, yeah. So Disney and Sony a deadly combo. Nah. But again, Doctor Strange 2 is on delay right now because they're trying to figure out when, when they can put another Black Panther movie out. Because again, the movie, my God, has made you know $700 million. So, you know, but um, yeah, so shout out to everybody to see. I saw I've seen it four times. Wakanda Forever. But and that'll be it. People ask, am I gonna watch it again? No, no, I'm done. I'm good. If somebody wants to it wants to meet me there and take me there and buy me a popcorn, I'll do it. But I'm done watching it. As soon as that movie becomes available to buy on 4K Blu-ray, I'm I'm reserving it. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, yeah, now, yeah. 
You're right, Andrew Panther. That means good. You've seen it six times? Wow. So I did too. I really like Black Panther. Yeah, it was a good movie. Good movie, fun to watch. Cool character. So cool character. But all right, guys, I'm gonna get on up out of here. Man, I can talk movies and stuff all day long. But uh, it's already 6:45. I'm gonna start winding down for the night. So uh, you seen it three times? Yeah, I went by fourth time. I went Saturday afternoon. So so yeah, it was Xbox the unofficial successor to the Sega Dreamcast? Um, technically, I would call that the PlayStation Two. I mean, the PlayStation One because that was the uh, that was a dream. That was a killer. That PlayStation 1 came out, it deaded everything. So, but uh, yeah, guys, thanks for coming by. Man, I had a great time talking to you all. Corey Massey, Uncompetitive, Savage, all you guys. Again, tomorrow, God willing, um, if I feel like it, I'll do a podcast and I'll be changing the mods. So I will change the mods during the podcast. So, so we'll be getting some more new mods. Again, there's more new, there's new people that are sub to the podcast. So. And I want everybody to kind of have a turn in the barrel. Again, nobody's done anything wrong. It's just something I'm doing to, you know, to keep it keep it fresh, keep everybody in, in the barrel. So, but I'm going to get on up out of here, guys. I appreciate you all being here. Everybody's been cool in the chat, I think. it. So, and uh, enjoy your game. Enjoy your game tonight, guys. I'm going to be out of here. This is Craig Harris, the Messiah of Xbox, signing off. I know y'all got y'all evening podcast to listen to. So I was kind of the appetizer. You all go enjoy that main course now, those other guys. I may be in the chat. Who knows? Take it easy. Peace.